my godfather was a state representative. And before he was sworn in as president, he gave what was known as the speech on the hill up at uh, the state house. And what happens is, it's an area where Secret Service can, you know when the president comes, there's all Secret Service, there's protection, they have to make sure nobody's doing anything that's wrong, there's no weapons and everything's secure. They came in and they swept the whole area, made sure everything was, was clear. But my father, my godfather, snuck me in and stuck me under a desk. And I was seven years old and I stayed under that desk for a couple of hours until the president got there. And when the president gets there, they have these two big doors in this auditorium. The doors swing open. There's a gentleman in tails and uh, a top hat and what they call a mace. It's a stick in his arm. And he says, Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And he comes walking in. They all starts cheering and yelling. And then my father pulled me out from under the desk. And the President stopped to meet me. And he spoke to me. And I was so overwhelmed, so excited with the whole event. This is when I was in second grade. I went home that night and I said to my father, Dad, I want to be the mayor of Memphis. And he said, good, go to bed and we'll talk about it in the morning. But <laughs> <laughs> it had such an impact on me. From the time I was in the second grade, I knew what I wanted to do. Now when I go around the schools and talk to the second graders in the school, I always do a survey. I said, how many know what they want to be? And about a third of the students will raise their hand. I'll say, what do you want to be? Let's see a firefighter. This one will say a police officer. This one will say a nurse. And for the most part, it's what their parent did. It's what they saw for their role model and how they lived and how they helped 